we have a Mitsubishi video cassette recorder here and the drive belt uh, was broken and off and uh, when the driving belt was broken if you put a cassette in I just put the cassette in there's no loading and also the machine turn itself off you can see there's just uh, some dot if I turn it on so you can see just the rotating and not loading the tape and then switch itself off so that's how the machine behaves when the timing bells are broken and off the position so today we're going to replace the belt to replace the belt so some machine you need to open the top cover and remove the deck and then you can replace the drive belt uh, at the bottom some VCR have uh, two belts some VCR just have one and this one just have uh, one belt uh, at the bottom for this older VCR uh, we only need to remove the bottom cover uh, in order to replace the belt so let's get started To remove the bottom cover, we need to turn over the machine and we can see what's at the bottom. We have this uh, uh, bottom feet over here, so we're going to remove this. This is the one screw in the middle. And also we need to remove the seat, the round seat at the back, one screw in the middle. And also uh, all the screws we can find around here and at the front and there and there so we need to remove all this screw uh, to remove the bottom cover and also you can see through the holes of the bottom cover so see you can see the mechanism the deck over there so, so we're going to remove this cover we'll be able to see the deck and then replace the belt so one screw to remove the front feet, the front square feet. So that's removed. So that's the front. And at the back we have the round feet that we just uh, remove. So that's at the back. And then we are going to remove all these screws one by one. So we're going to remove all the screw. After all the screw removed, so you can lift at the back. You can see at the front the back cover, the bottom cover is a little bit get into this small front front panel tab. So you just need to uh, leave it up and then this a little bit up over here you can see so a little bit up over here and then push back of the bottom cover after you remove the bottom cover so you can see the belt the belt is off the pulley and it's also broken and it's sticky so it's rotten so we need to replace this belt and it should be on this pulley and on this pulley so we just uh, uh, remove it uh, replace with a new one i just uh, bought one from ebay and it's uh, 2.84 uh, for this particular machine it's a square drive belt and the square is a two millimeter each side and also the diameter is about uh, 87 millimeter so uh, we're going to install this to the machine if the pulley is uh, dirty you can use some uh, uh, alcohol and uh, cotton bud to do some cleaning and our one is not that dirty but we're going to cleaning a little bit uh, anyway yeah, just uh, a drop uh, of uh, alcohol uh, to the button bar and just to clean the groove of the pulley and this one. 
clean all around, make it clean. Now we have cleaned the pulley with the alcohol, so we can install the belt now. So I think uh, just uh, very easy, just to put into the groove over there, and also on this belt. Hi, I tried the band I bought uh, for this machine, and it's proved uh, too big, too loose, and it's just uh, not working. Uh, so when you buy a uh, drill belt or band, try to buy maybe smaller rather than bigger, so that uh, you won't have a problem as I have had. Uh, instead, I found the spring awning band. When you buy spring awning from supermarket, you have this uh, one of the two of this uh, band uh, wrapped uh, uh, each bundle of the spring awning together. This just uh, that small and just uh, uh, make it uh, expand it uh, rather big. You can see and put them on and actually put two of them there and uh, hopefully. Uh, this uh, should work. So at the moment, I think uh, it should be okay uh, before I found a proper belt for this uh, VCR. Now, well, we can have a try and put it in to see if it's uh, working. Yeah, it's loading. Yeah, I think it's loaded. Let's see. Uh, we play, press the play button. So now it is playing. We stop it, press the stop button. It's stopped. And then we press the eject. So it's working now.